Hi, welcome to Take 5 as we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is February 15th, and the title of today's devotional is, Am I My Brother's Keeper? None of us lives to himself, Romans 14 and verse 7. Has it ever dawned on you that you are responsible spiritually to God for other people? Chambers begins today's devotional with that question, one which may leave many uncomfortable. It means that you are called upon daily to live out your faith in all places and circumstances so that there will be no question of your relationship with God. Back when I was in high school, I had already received a call in my heart to the ministry, and it had even been publicly acknowledged by my church, yet there were many habits that I had not changed. I still drank and ran around with a group that considered themselves Sunday Christians, but very little other interest in that. As we were entering a bar one Saturday night, one of the guys who I had been sharing Christ with was coming out, and the look on his face gave immediate understanding as to what was going on in his head. The look of shocked disappointment was evident. There was obviously nothing different about my life than anyone else's. Now, you may not consider that a very good example and say, well, hey, the Bible doesn't say we can't drink, and I'll agree with you on that. It doesn't. But my point is that there are many people daily watching us to see if our claim of Christ making any different in our life, any better, really holds up. The Christian should not be afraid to be looked at by others, so an idea will be gained as to how to live as a Christian. The Bible teaches us to abstain from any form of evil. The King James says to abstain from any appearance of evil, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 22. I would imagine that most all who are reading or hearing this today are adults and with families or planning for families. With the responsibility of a family, you go to work so to make earnings, so to bring home and take care of your loved ones. Likely none here with family responsibilities are so heartless that you would say, no, my money is my own and they need to go earn their own to take care of themselves. Sounds pretty callous, doesn't it? Likewise, Christians have responsibilities to live like Christ and to share Christ with others. In the last chapter of Matthew, Jesus said for us to be disciple makers. And in the first chapter of Acts, verse 1 and verse 8, he says, You shall be my witnesses. Chambers addresses our role as Christians. Why has God left us on the earth? Is it simply to be saved and sanctified? No, it is to be at work in service for him. Am I willing to be broken bread and poured out wine for him? Am I willing to be of no value to this age or of life except for one purpose and one alone, to be used to disciple men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ? My life of service to God is the way I say thank you to him for his inexpressibly wonderful salvation. As a Christian, there are, there's purpose in our lives beyond only living for ourselves and our desires. In being called a Christian, we receive the responsibility for serving him as a thank you for his having saved us. Chambers asks, who is sufficient to live up to such a lofty standard of being, called, of being Christ-like? The answer comes from God, 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 5. Not that we are adequate in ourselves to consider anything as coming from ourselves, but our adequacy is of God. Paul told the church at Philippi, For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Philippians 2 and verse 13. Your ability to please God comes from God. It is not of ourselves. Chambers closes with this. Remember, it is quite possible for God to set any of us aside if we refuse to be of service to him. 1 Thessalonians 9, 27, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. If you've not yet read today's uh, devotional from Dr. Chambers' book, I encourage you to do so, for it will enhance our time together. If you have any questions on today's study, please uh, list them, or any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have any prayer requests, please share those as well. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our utmost for his highest. God bless you. Thanks for being here today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.